In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can run a background task with the fast API server. Let's get this video started. All right, so we left off in the previous video with actually uh, trying to create a password bearer token and we authenticated and things like that. So if you're interested for watching that video, I'll drop a link for that in the description. Check that out. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can run a background task after completing a request from the user. So basically, the requirement here is that let's say a user A is sending a request to our server. We get this uh, request, we process this request and send a response. But we still need to run some background task. For example, let's say we want to create a task to mail something you know email something uh, or to uh, create a task to write something to a file or you can even create a simple task to send a message to a mobile number like an otp and things like that all of these things can be easily done with fast api's background task uh, class so first things first go to your import statement and you're just going to say background task you can also automatically uh, it's actually part of the core library itself so you don't have to install anything so once your background task is created let me quickly create for example let's say i want to create a get request here so we have already seen few things with respect to token and things like that i'm not going to touch that i'm going to leave everything here as part of my github library so github package so you can check that out easily whenever you want to so i'm going to be creating my get request here i'm just going to say hey, apt get and i'm going to say uh, probably create email or send email all right so you can say users email so when when this uh, endpoint is hit i want to get the email from the user and i want to just you know send something to this uh, user's email but i'm not going to be actually creating an email module here i'm just going to show you guys how to run this background task all right so first thing we're going to do is just create a module so let's say async a def uh, we, we will say we'll call this as uh, send or create or a handle email right and uh, we're going to say for example email is going to be a string and what next you're going to do is you're going to create object or background task and you're gonna say it's actually an object of background tasks class and uh, let's get inside first things first we'll print email and I'm gonna say in the next step that I want to handle or do something in the background right so I'll just say background tasks that add it gives you the add task method where, where you can say inside this you can say a callable which is going to be a function and you can pass all of the args and quarks that you require inside it so what exactly does that mean so I'm gonna create a method like this here so I'm gonna say def um, uh, our handle email background and I'm going to take uh, the uh, the email itself which is going to be a string make sure to always type def and it's going to be a string and I'm also going to take for example like uh, probably let's take some data right so message I'll take or I'll just take something like data data is going to be again a string all right, so this is the two things I want to take and I'm not going to write or do anything or send a mail. I'm just going to say first of all, print the email and uh, print the data. And what I'm going to do just for some time for like uh, probably uh, 100 iterations, I'm just going to keep on printing uh, some data. So I'll just say for uh, I uh, in range of 100. I'm just going to print the integer i uh, with probably some time of probably let's let's do like a millisecond time difference between this so it's going to be running for 100 milliseconds so i'll just import time all right so i'm just going to show how that actually works so go here and just say time of sleep for 0.1 seconds or probably one tenth of a second so 100 iterations keep running this in the background i don't want you to disturb my main request so the request is coming here in in this we are saying background task is going to be it's going to be first uh, variable is going to be a callable the callable here is the uh, method itself here so pass that here followed by the methods argument so first is going to be a star args meaning that you didn't you don't need to actually say the keyword itself or the parameter itself just can just directly pass the email uh, i'll just pass the email followed by some message right i'll say um uh, this is a sample background task manager probably like this. this is going to be a message so it's going to print that first print the data and just you know just keep printing an integer i from 0 to 99 for uh, 100 iterations and it's just going to take a 0 0.1 millisecond 0 0.1 second every single time so it's going to take some time to complete that but in the meantime we will immediately return my response i'm just going to say the response is uh, uh, user uh, user probably user is going to be Bharatwaj, and i'm going to say uh, message is uh, mail sent 
this is going to be my message so basically we are saying uh, handle my email and i'm just going to just try to run this now and see and show you guys how exactly this is going to set so you be gone my main is going to be an application so fire it up uh, let's see where it is taking us so as usual i don't have a home directory um, and we're just going to go to this user endpoint and before that just go quickly see the docs i'll show you how the docs is actually working and uh, if you see the docs here it says that uh, docs is going to be handle email and the handle email portion it's automatically uh, taking an email request so i'll just say email request and the email is going to be probably uh, let's give it an email of probably by name right so bharatwatch uh, dot bharatarajan at gmail.com we we'll just execute it and see for ourselves and we got gotten the response but even after sending the response as you guys can see here i'll show you guys it is running for 100 iterations the request is sent but there's a background task running for 100 iterations and it's taking probably 0 0.1 0 0.1 second every single time so that's pretty much how you can do it yourself you can create your own uh, you can create your own uh, background task manager but it has to be very simple and lightweight let's say there's a very heavy background task that you want to do probably like handling a video or you know processing a image processing a video like that it's going to be a he very heavy kind of a background task which is not recommended to be run on the main thread of the fast api so this is going to be running on the pri primarily on the main thread uh, sharing the same memory and things like that and uh, what is happening is that this is going to be a and this the understanding is that this is going to be a lightweight kind of a uh, lightweight kind of a task that's going to be running in the background simple lightweight task includes writing to a file writing sending an email sending a message just simple task like that which is not required for you to like wait the main thread or wait the response for if you are sure that this is going to successfully exit you can directly run it in the background thread and send the response to the user as okay this is sent we are going to handle it and that's pretty much how you can create your own background task with respect to the fast API this um, this entire thing is available as part of the main wiki of the fast API itself but I want to quickly iterate on how you can do things uh, in, in our examples that we're taking till now so it's going to be a framework this is going to be a complete project type of thing that we're building here right so we just have a user module we have a token generation module we have a username and all of those things are going to be available so all of these code is going to be living in the github repository link in the description I'm going to push this as well there so you can check it out if you're interested I'll meet you guys in the next video uh, I'll meet you guys there and friends, Bharat, peace out. Have a super awesome day.